In this video, I will be talking about the things that I love and hate about Paladins. Now, I've been playing this game for quite a long time. I started playing this game when Fury got released, I don't know when that was. And there's just things that I just absolutely love about this game and absolutely hate about this game. So in this video, I will be telling you 5 things that I love and 5 things that I hate. Let's start off with the positive stuff. Let's get this out of the way because it's the most obvious one, Talents. Talents in this game is one of the sole reason why we love this game so much. Talents just make a character so much more fun and so much more unique. Now I'm gonna compare this to Overwatch really quick. Let's talk about Mercy from Overwatch. For those people who don't know, Mercy is a support. Mercy will just always be Mercy. It just depends on your skill ceiling. If you're a really good Mercy player or a really bad Mercy player. And most of the time, you're just gonna be a heal bot. And you can't really play her in a different way besides you like, you know, going battle Mercy sometimes. But in Paladins, you can literally play as a support as a damage. For example, there's two supports in your team. You can literally just go damage support and you could literally do more damage than the actual damage. And not just that, even tanks. You can play tanks in this game as a support. Even as an assassin or like a flanking champion. You can play a flank champion as a support. Not a lot of games can do that stuff. And we might as well talk about loadouts because we're talking about like uniqueness. You can just make your own build. You can be so creative. Let's just say there's two of the same characters in this game even though they're the same character they could have a completely different build a completely different talent it just feels so unique now this might be a little overwhelming for new players like what the hell do i do here like wh which card is good what I, I, I don't understand like there's too much reading so most of the time if you're a new player you just copy someone's build but the more time you play this game you will make your own build for example there's a cooldown reduction build where you can use your abilities more because you have this kind of build you could even have like a damage reduction build where you don't die a lot you take less damage you can even make a build based on knockout you can just throw people off the map <laughs> like it's actually so fun obviously this is not the meta build but you can have fun this is what i love about paladins it's just so unique how you can do this and we might as well talk about the items and recently they added more items which is like look at this there's so many items now there's an item where you can reduce your damage there's an item where you can lower your ability ability cooldowns there's an item that you can reduce your reload speed there's just so many items here that is just so fun there's always something that you can do in this game like you can try a new build you can try a new loadout you can even try new items like there's so much stuff that you can do in this game now let's talk about something else because you guys already know about those stuff let's talk about mixing skins i love how you can mix skins in this game for example you really love one specific skin but you don't really like the weapon skin well you can just change it you can change it to whatever else you want or vice versa you really like the weapon skin but you don't like the actual skin you can also just change that you can like change it around to whatever you want in other games they don't really let you do this like a specific skin will just be the same you cannot change them and we might as well talk about the effects on the skins they change the voices and the effects on the skins it just makes the skin a lot more better not a lot of games do that sometimes they just change the skin but they don't really change anything about the effects lastly let's talk about the champion's diversity this is also one of the reasons why we love champions in this game is how unique the characters are do you want to play as a human well there's a lot of human characters do you want to play like an animal yep you can also play as an animal do you want to play like a robot yep you can play as a robot you can even play as um whatever this is i have no idea what this is in this game you can basically play whoever you want because they basically have every single one so those are the five things that i love about this game you can let me know if i miss anything but now let's talk about the negative stuff let's get this out of the way because it's the most obvious one obviously it's the bugs now bugs in this game is basically it's basically part of paladins at this point we're not gonna talk about this for a very long time because you guys already get this now i'm gonna be completely honest though this past new update i haven't really seen a lot of bugs lately yes there's still bugs but it's definitely a lot lesser it's good how they're actually properly facing it nowadays and i've been playing quite a lot of paladins recently and i haven't really been getting a lot of bugs which is surprisingly really good oh wow i see this oh wow and then now i'm just black screen i'm literally just stuck in black screen now yep you, you hear that as well 
Now, this is probably what I hate the most currently are the AFKers. You know how I was saying there's less bugs currently in Paladins, which is really good. But for some reason, there's more AFKers in Paladins. Just look at this game, for example. What is this? What, what is this? Um, I guess this is why we're losing so easily. Even in my recent video when I was playing Barrick, I literally played like five games in there. And three of those games, there's three AFKs. What is that? I feel like they're not doing enough work to deal with these AF carriers. How do they get away with this? Like, I don't get it. And I feel like there's just more and more AF carriers each update. I don't know if they're actually logging out. I don't know if it's the server's paladins problem, but they need to do something about this because it's getting very annoying. And I might as well get this out of the way as well, which is the game is unbalanced. Now, surprisingly enough, again, this current update, there's not really a lot of like broken characters the past other updates there's always one character that is just extremely broken now i get it there's no perfect games out there there's always gonna be a character out there that is just way better than the other one that i can understand obviously they cannot balance every single character like perfectly but i don't understand that in paladins there's always one extremely powerful one like very broken like i don't get it let's not talk about seven when he was absolutely broken Broken. Let's not talk about the Inara meta where she literally doesn't die. She's just immune to anything. Or the Azan meta. Oh my god, the Azan meta is literally the worst one. Or the... Um, <clears throat> or this one. Uh, yeah, you, you get it. But surprisingly, this update, there isn't like a very broken character. So, so far, they're doing a really good job at balancing the champions. Now, this is another thing that I hate in this game is the loot crates. Why are they still using loot crates in this game? It's so outdated. Just take a look at Fortnite, for example. Their item shop is absolutely amazing. It just rotates every single day. So, so you basically have to play every single day to see if your skin is there, which is a lot better than having it in the chest and spending so much money and you don't even end up getting it i hate this rng sh where you, you don't even get what you want you get other sh why am i paying for something i don't want anyway i would rather wait for it to be in the actual store and then just buy the skin that i actually want please evil mojo please like fix it fix the shop for the love of god bro please and lastly what i hate about paladins how they remove play of the game and kill cam i miss the days where you just watch your play of the game and you like show it off to your friends you're like oh look i did so well in this game and now every single game when you finish it's like you know empty it's just darkness there's nothing to look forward to anymore obviously this is not very necessary like oh it's just, it just play of the game curbs so why, why you give a shit about it what i love about it is that you actually try to do something like for example saving your ultimate and then getting a triple kill out of it like yes it doesn't change anything about the game itself but it's just fun to have it it just inspires you to play better in the game same with the kill cam i don't know why they removed this i want to see how i died like can, can i please see how i died I don't know why they removed that. I feel like it's so important. But anyways, that is what I love and hate about this game. Let me know if I miss anything. You can also let me know in the comments if you guys agree with me. And that's it for today, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will see you guys next time. See you.